long time no speak. How's everybody doing? How is your mental health? Never mind whether you've got the virus. I don't even want to say the C word because I think we've all heard quite enough of the C word. But what I do think is worth talking about that perhaps hasn't been mentioned so much is how it's affecting people's mental health. Now, initially, I thought, okay, things are going into lockdown and quarantine and self-isolation and all of that. I'm agoraphobic. What's the big problem? But the weird thing is, knowing that I can't or shouldn't go out is actually making me worse because I fear how difficult it's going to be when I do get to just return back to normal. Um, it's also made me fearful for obvious reasons just to go to my local Tesco to get supplies, which I've, I've got to do. You know, luckily I don't have to go to work. Um, I know a lot of people have, have stopped working. My son is one of them. He works for the cinema and that's been closed. Juno, stop it. Um, and my other son, his college is closed, so he's at home. Uh, my um, partner is still going to work, but I think that will probably stop um, very soon. And, and then we'll all be at home together. Now, I've been trying to clean, obviously. You clean anyway, but I'm, I, it's made me really paranoid. Um, you know, I've been told I verge on OCD with certain things. One of my big things was germs because I've got a metaphobia, you know, a fear of being sick. Um, so I'm always really hot on things like the dates on food, whether, whether it was put in the fridge quick enough after we, you know, got back and unpacked the shopping. Um, I know that if ever someone's left the fridge door open, which has happened on a couple of occasions, and uh, I know which person in the household did it. Um, and that makes me just throw all the food away because I think, okay, well, that's been getting warm because the light heats up the top of the fridge and you don't know. Anyway, you get the idea. So at home, I've been cleaning things like door handles and walls and obviously kitchen worktops and things that you touch frequently but it's just, yesterday I actually sent myself into a bit of a tailspin um, because you go and do something and then you've got to wash your hands you do something else and normally you think well I'm not going to be eating any food or preparing any food um, so, you know, it's not urgent that I wash my hands immediately. You know, I, I try to get a few things done that don't matter if you touch them before I wash my hands and then move on to the next thing I'm going to do. But yesterday, it just felt like I was, it, it was a combination of just cleaning, washing my hands, cleaning, washing my hands. And, and then you watch one of the kids or someone, you know, come and do something willy-nilly and you think, look at all the things you've just touched. And I know you've been out on your keyboard, disgusting man cave they've got in that it's not, it's a beautiful summer house they've got, which is the man cave, but they're two teenage boys who don't keep it clean and it's pretty grim. And they're touching all that and then they're touching the door handle when they come in the back door and then they come out of the kitchen cupboards. And I'm just thinking, oh God, I've just cleaned all that and now I'm paranoid and I had to stop. I had to just say to myself, right. And then, and obviously cleaning your phone as well. You go and do things, you get a message, you quickly open it and da, da, da. And they say a lot of the germs, you know, are on your phone. So I stopped, I laid down on the sofa, the dogs cuddled up with me and I went on my phone but tried to avoid anything corona related. Um, and it did start to relax me a bit and then I got some messages from friends, you know, and that's all corona related. Even if it's humour, it, it's still in the back of your mind, you know, oh, you know, this is serious and... I know people are making jokes about toilet roll and 
pasta and all of that but you know looking today when I woke up at the queues outside shops and things that people can't get hold of and you know it could get really bad um I mean I'm not actually worried about starving I'm I'm worried about the repercussions if one of my family gets sick or and I can't get to them or I can't visit them or I can't help them or they die and it all just snowballs um, anyway it's affected my sleep as well I don't know um, any of you who have trouble sleeping I have trouble sleeping anyway that's got worse sorry if you can hear dripping tap I don't know why it's dripping um, yeah and last night I couldn't even focus on I mean yesterday I tried to do a puzzle and I couldn't even focus I put I put YouTube on on just a documentary and tried to do my puzzle and my mind could not focus I couldn't sit still and just do a puzzle I was too ramped up you know um, and then last night you know after dinner partner and I thought oh yeah we'll put Netflix on you know, lay in bed relax and we put the film on and I just I could not get into it I mean it wasn't really my kind of film which didn't help but normally I would sit through it and no big deal but my mind was elsewhere and I could feel myself getting more and more uptight um, I mean my shoulders are awful at the moment um, really could do with a proper good massage but chances of that are zero um, and in the end I just he he said oh you're not enjoying this film are you and I said no you know and and he was like, well, you know, I need to get some sleep, so I've got to get up for work anyway. So we turned it off. He put headphones in. He was asleep within minutes. I got my colouring book out, and I'm sat there, and I've got my headphones in, you know, listening to a documentary, and I'm colouring. And I just could not calm down. I look at the time. It's getting on for 3 o'clock. I just thought, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And then you start not panicking but getting like an anxiety attack because you're like oh my god I'm not going to sleep I'm not going to sleep and I'm going to feel even more shit tomorrow and, da -da -da, and what if this happens and have we run out of that and I, t I ended up taking a, um, a diazepam and and that was enough for me to I just put the colouring down I tried to focus on the documentary I know they say you shouldn't play on your phone and watch screens I didn't actually watch the documentary I was just listening to it and then gradually I could feel myself going off to sleep and I actually had a pretty solid night which is is a first in in quite a while um, I just keep waking and I've been waking with night sweats which I know are anxiety related because when I start to get anxious in the morning I can wake up <coughs> first thing and feel fine I come downstairs I get on my phone and as my anxiety builds I start to break out in a sweat so anyway um, haven't done any practice or exposure um, I have been out on a, on a few dog walks um, I visited my parents but I did social distancing they sat in the conservatory with the door open and I sat in the garden in the rain not horrendous rain but in the rain with an umbrella <laughs> and um, and I am going to go over there today just to literally post a Mother's Day card through the, the letterbox but um, I received my first Mother's Day gift first thing this morning actually and it was from my youngest fur baby my four-legged fur baby and it was a shit on the lounge floor thank god i've got laminate floor and not carpet but um yeah happy mother's day so uh if anyone would like to message get in touch tell me how you're feeling tell me how you're doing um any ideas on how to stay healthy mentally i know all of the physical things you know about I, all of that I'm, I'm fully aware of but I'm open to any ideas about helping yourself mentally um, I think distraction is key um, I'm doing my best to not just use cleaning as a distraction which is what I've always fallen back on in the past I'll go on a cleaning frenzy um, but like I say yesterday it didn't do me any favors so um, anything else that you can think of that might be fun um, 
that you do on your own because basically my two boys are in the man cave and other halves at work so it's just me and the doggies but um, I really hope that you are all fit he healthy well um, and um, and doing okay so stay, stay safe